Welcome back to Explore Uita Japan. In an episode of last season, we showed you the new Uita spaceport and the hovercraft line that would be coming with it. Now, that hovercraft line is almost finished. We've been given a chance to take a look inside of it. Let's go. Oita City is the heart of Oita Prefecture, also the most populated city out of the prefecture's 18 cities and towns. This new hovercraft line will connect Oita Airport to West Oita, with easy access to central Oita, where countless urban fun awaits you. But first of all, let's meet our special guest. What's your favorite part about this specific hovercraft? Well, the favorite part about this for me mm -hmm. is I designed it. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually here with Mark Downer, the engineering director of Griffin Hoverworks. He actually designed this very hovercraft, and so I'm very excited to ask you some questions about this. Can you explain to us how exactly a hovercraft works? Sure. Yeah, most people believe that the skirt around it, the black rubber skirt, is really high pressure, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It's very low pressure. It says just enough air to lift it up. Mm -hmm. So there's two engines. Yes. Um, each engine runs two lift fans, which are at the back of there. There's two lift fans there. They suck air in mm -hmm. and blow lots and lots of air out of the bottom. Mm -hmm. And the air escapes. So it's constantly escaping underneath and the hovercraft is lifted up. The same engines um, drive the propellers, which give us the thrust as well. Mm -hmm. So um, it is very much a, a very low pressure system to lift the hovercraft up, make the least amount of disturbance on the water mm -hmm. and make it go as fast as it can. Interesting. So. How fast can the hovercraft go then? So this, it, with all the passengers on board, it will do 45 knots. Yeah, it's quite quick. Mm -hmm. Compared to 15 years ago's hovercraft, mm -hmm. the, the technology that we now use is very different. Um, well, they're much quieter. The way that we make most of the hovercraft quieter is using only two engines rather than four. Mm -hmm. So there's less engines. The engines at the back, um, we also, the, the propellers are much larger than they were before. And most of the noise of a hovercraft comes from the speed that the propeller's going. Mm -hmm. So we were able to slow that down significantly and it makes it a lot quieter. And my experience with customers coming on the hovercraft for the first time is mm -hmm. excitement. Yes. They're really excited to go on it the first time. Most people haven't had the opportunity to. Mm -hmm. And it feels like more like getting on a, an aeroplane than maybe on a t to a boat. And it lifts off, mm -hmm. that's quite exciting, and it slips mm -hmm. away. It's really quick, very quiet. Um, fantastic views all the way across Beppu Bay um, to get to the airport. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty interested. Do you mind if we could take a look inside? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Love to show you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what you're going to do is as you come through here mm -hmm. to start with, um, there's a luggage compartment in there to put all your luggage on. You come off the airport, and then you come into the into the the hovercraft itself. There's a nice big area on both sides to take a wheelchair. Yes. So barrier-free access, barrier-free access um, seats across the front for everybody. All very well laid out. Have a, have a seat. It's a good place to sit right at the front. Uh -huh. I think, if I'm, if I'm honest, I tend to sit somewhere near the window mm. <laughs> so I can see the best views, but it's mm -hmm. great in the here as well. I see the, the seat is very ergonomic. I feel at home. Right here. <laughs> it's very comfortable, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So if you come on board and you've got a choice of seats, yes. I go and sit on the side here, see there so you can get, get the best views. They're not reclining, but you can lift the seats up. And then there's a they're all fitted with drinks holders. Here, what's this little black ah, bag? Ah, right, underneath. That's yes. it. Well, underneath every single seat, there's a life jacket. Really? Yeah. Very much the highest standards that you can get nowadays to, the, to the international high-speed craft coach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there ever any kind of movement back and forth when you're riding? No, it's very, very smooth. Really? So not like a not like a boat, really. It's yeah. um, Even when it's very rough, mm -hmm. really, it's very smooth Interesting. Compared, to a, compared to a ship. Yeah. 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 Crewed from upstairs, pilot, co-pilot, all upstairs, their latest um, technology for, for uh, radar and um, navigation that they can use to get backwards and forwards to the airport. Um, two people up there uh, that, that will operate the hovercraft. Yeah. Interesting, so crew, yeah. Crew, piloting a hovercraft is, is a very different skill. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the background of a mariner is still important, so they still have to be qualified as, a, as a, someone that can drive a boat of the same size. Really? But um, it's much quicker mm -hmm. um, and it's, it, it doesn't, it's not in the water, so it skids mm. sideways. It's really a very different experience to drive. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's more like driving a boat and a helicopter at the mm -hmm. same time. That sort of it. Oh my goodness. It's quite warm. I'm with James Bond in his secret lair. <laughs> so yes, two engines, two MAN um, diesel engines, both 
engines produce about a thousand horsepower mm -hmm. each. Diesel engines. Mm -hmm. And what exactly does a thousand horsepower mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's um, I guess that's about ten times most cars. Oh my <laughs> god! Where are these engines made? Are these also British? They're, they're made in Germany. Germany, okay. Yeah, so they're made in Germany. Propellers mm -hmm. are made in Germany as well. Mm -hmm. It's an unmanned machinery space, so there's cameras. Mm. so that the pilots can see what's going on. There's sensors in here. Everything is controlled from the, from the wheelhouse. There's mm. no need for anybody to come in. It's only, only any, any time that anybody comes in is to do maintenance and check before the craft leaves mm. each day. Yeah. I see, interesting. Because so much wider outside here. <laughs> <laughs> how loud, or I guess how quiet, would it usually be in here? When so it's about the same as a coffee shop a coffee shop yeah yeah I guess so it's about 75 decibels yeah which is about the normal sort of thing for a, a coffee shop you mm -hmm. know a, a busy coffee shop mm -hmm. really but mm -hmm. it's very quiet that, that's crazy that it's so quiet in here considering how big those engines are yeah yeah how close they are to here as well yes so so the timetable that we're expecting um, is is to be quite strict on the time that it leaves and, and, and um, gets to the airport. Mm -hmm. um, we've practiced many times going between here and the airport so far. It takes around between 32 and 38 minutes to get there, depending on a little bit on the wind. Mm -hmm. um, so I think the timetable will be set so that it, the, the hovercraft will always arrive on time mm -hmm. um, and be very reliable to get you to the airport on time. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see. Thank you so much for showing me the inside of this hovercraft today. I had an amazing time. I can't wait to see you next time you come yeah, back to brilliant. Japan. Real pleasure to show yeah. you around. Thank you. Take care. So now I'm in front of the terminal where the hovercraft will come to park. But you might have noticed something. There's no water here. If there's no water, then how would the hovercraft park here? The answer is they hover. Hovercraft can hover not over only water, but also land. And by doing so, they can come all the way up here for the convenience of the passengers to get off right in front of the terminal. While checking out this cool terminal, I also had the opportunity to meet Mrs. Izayama from Oita Prefecture as well. あ、Wow, oh my gosh. The view from here is crazy. This is the terminal in Oita City, where the hovercrafts from Oita Airport will arrive. When you first come into this building, something that you might notice are these massive pillars. And these pillars are actually made out of cedar wood. And the reason for that is Oita Prefecture is famous for its cedar wood production. So the designers of this building took that into consideration. And when they designed this, they made it feel like you're walking through a cedar forest. The design of Hover Terminal Oita took inspiration from a spacecraft taking off, which also matches with the soaring spirit of Oita Prefecture. The structure is also filled with natural light and panoramic views. When the hovercraft line starts to operate here, I'd imagine that there'd be plenty of development in this area, leading for it to be something that you can enjoy as just a standalone destination. And finally, with just a 15 minute bus ride, you can make it all the way to central Oita with endless things for you to enjoy. This is Explore Oita Japan. Thank you for enjoying this tour with me and I'll see you next time. <laughs>